Today, you guys are going to embark on creating some imaginary worlds. Um, you are going to scavenge and gather all around your house. See what you can find that has some interesting textures. Try to find some little toys and things that you can use as characters. Figurines work well. Um, army guys work well. Uh, little tiny miniatures are perfect for this activity. And then look for some different textures. Some of the things that I found, um, this scouring pad has a really cool texture to it. Um, I raided my daughter's closet and found these really cool stone looking textures. But then I went for some soft stuff too, like a scarf. So there's some nice texture to that. And then I also found some little flower textures. So look for all kinds of different things. Um, look for little characters. Raided my son's room. Found a little monster and someone to save the day. So think about these little scenarios that you want to create. Um, I'm going to set up some scenarios and set up uh, at least four different settings and with some different characters and take a bunch of pictures. So I'm going to set up, show you what I do, and then I'll share my results. This can be a lot of fun. You can create all these different kinds of environments and have some interaction between your characters that you find. Um, really, really, the textures will look so cool once you flip them to some black and white pictures. Um, that's where the ambiguity will really show up is when we finish them. So I am going to do just that. Now, one thing that you probably didn't even pick up on in the time lapse is that the lighting needs to change. So even after I did all of those pictures, I went back, I took some more. I will definitely share some examples um, so that you can see what I came up with in the end. But lighting changes will also add to the dramatics of your picture. And then if you're using your cell phone, if you just tap on your screen and the part that you want to have in focus, it will focus maybe in the foreground or in the background. So I'm going to show you some things that I did that I got some little different results because of the way that I was trying to get my focus to change. So you need to have at least four different environments that you're going to set up. You're going to shoot away different angles, um, think about interactions, look for all of those fun things around the house, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Party on! <laughs> 